What's going on guys? Um, Alex back again. I want to start by talking, uh, making a few um, corrections on the video I made about this. My album of the month for March this year, which was Animals by Pink Floyd. I, I just want to point out this was towards the lower end of my budget, this. And I also do want to make sure that when it comes to comments on my videos, I don't want to know how much you think records are worth. I know what records are worth. I look up like the best prices to pay for stuff. So I know what I'm willing to pay for an album. So if you tell me that I could have picked this up cheaper than what I paid for it, I'm going to ignore you. So... Just wanted to clarify that I do make sure I'm getting the best deal on all my records before I make the purchase. And so, yeah, there's that one. Pink Floyd Animals, just getting that out of the way uh, really, really quick. Alright, on to the main hall here. Um, quite a mixture, actually. Uh, actually, what's playing in the background, the Electronic 80s. Finally list getting around to listening to Disc 4. Uh, I got this as a Christmas present this year. Don't know if you can see that. Simple Minds, Tears for Fears, uh, OMD, who were touring again, I believe, Roxy Music, Duran Duran, Japan. So yeah, great stuff. Anyway, moving on. Uh, let's start with uh, Berlin. I recently watched um, Top Gun and the song Take My Breath Away featured on that, uh, on that film. In the film, excuse me, I don't know what I'm saying proper English here guys um, but yeah great great track that fantastic song original inner so yeah fantastic stuff nice mint copy I've got a lot to get through so please excuse me if I'm speeding through these but yeah Berlin uh, count free and pray is the album and 86 is the year so there's that one next album is still in shrink this is Archie Bell and the Drells with Dance Your Troubles Away. It's a shame this album isn't in the best condition. Uh, I need, I will need an upgrade copy at some point, but yeah, this is still a good album. I like it. But, I mean, I wish it was in better shape. This is on the top label. But yeah, there's still some good stuff on this album. It's just, I just wish I could have enjoyed it more with the condition it's in, but oh well. Didn't pay a whole, didn't, you know. Still some good stuff on there, regardless of it being in not the best condition, because I already knew the album before I picked it up, so there's that one. Next was an album I wasn't too familiar with, but this was a freebie, so. Uh, Moody Blues on the Threshold of a Dream. I didn't love this album. But I didn't hate it. I'm not a big Moody Blues fan. I wasn't too familiar with Moody Blues. Um, still got the booklet intact and everything. Um, but yeah, I wasn't too familiar with this. But, you know, with it being a freebie and that, I'm going to pick it up. 69 is, of course, the year on this. Derham Records. And this is a stereo pressing. There is a scratch on the B-side, which doesn't sound very good. It's not very deep, so it doesn't skip. It just pops when it goes over it so and I don't know it's not enjoyable as much but I did like some parts of this album but I don't know if I'm gonna be getting any more moody blue stuff after this um, I'm not too sure but not a terrible album Jimmy Cliff next um, the power and the glory this is great I love this it's sort of fading but you can see there gold stamp promo Fantastic, fantastic stuff. 83 of the year. This is on the CBS label. And I did enjoy this quite a bit, so hoping to find more Jimmy Cliff um, soon, hopefully. A band I love, by the way, is coming up next. This is Ario Speedwagon. This is their album, You Can Tune a Piano, But You Can't Tune a Fish. It's pretty self explanatory. It's on Epic. This is quite an early REO Speedwagon album, I believe. Yeah, 78. So, that could be early. There's the blue Epic label. 
It's a good album. I enjoyed it. Farley as well. Very, very good stuff. And a band I think is very, very underrated here in the VC. But a great album by him. So I love REO Speedwagon. They're great. I talk constantly about bands that are really hard to find. Uh, I always mention ACDC, uh, Black Sabbath, Kiss. They're basically the big three that are really hard to find. There is one more I keep forgetting to mention. And it's not that their albums are hard to find. It's ever since Walter Becker passed away that it's only since um, Walter Becker passed away this band's albums have been really hard to find. Especially in mint condition. But I finally was able to find a nice mint copy of Can't Buy a Frill by Steely Dan. Really good album. Of course this has Do It Again and Reeling in the Years on this album. Great, great stuff. Nice mint copy of this album on ABC Records. 72, so of course it is their debut. Fan love Steely Dan. One of my favorite bands, I think, I would say, anyway. Um, but yeah, just fantastic, fantastic stuff by them. And hopefully I can complete their discography. This brings me one album closer, but their albums unfortunately don't come up too often. I wish I could get more. Uh, a couple more albums here for the 10CC collection. Uh, I'm trying to get complete on them at the moment, because they don't have many albums that are hard to find. This is their album look here great stuff actually i enjoyed this quite a bit this is their 1980 album there's the original winner 1980 yeah 1980 i thoroughly enjoyed this one more so than the other one i picked up but every song on here is fantastic oops okay next album is 10 out of 10 not the app, the album isn't a 10 out of 10 album. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that anyway. But 1981's the year on this. And if you, if you, if you unfold the whole cover, it makes a big image. I can't show you, but this is on the blue Mercury label. The other one was on a custom Mercury label. I probably should have showed that off, but as I said, I'm trying to rush through these because we have a lot to get through, but... I didn't enjoy this one, unfortunately, as much as the as look here, but it's still a good album. Still some good stuff on here. So I definitely, if it's a 10 CC fan, definitely pick that up. A blind buy. Next, this is Within Reach by a band called O. Literally, the band's name is just O. Um, 76 on this. United Artist label. I wasn't too familiar with them. Um, I looked on Discos before I bought it and it said it was um, classic rock, blues rock. So I picked it up and actually I enjoyed it quite a bit. Not a bad song on this album. So, so I'm pretty glad I picked this up. There is a bit of writing on the cover but as I always say, you can't play the cover. Now we're getting into the good stuff. As if that stuff wasn't good enough, we're getting into some into the good stuff. One more album here. Going to GI, sorry. Uh, one more album here for the Queen Collection. This is The Day at the Races. I was missing this album. This is one of my more favorite Queen albums. Uh, 76 is the year. It's a shame I was missing this one because while it comes up all the time, never ever in, good, in this good of condition. So I had to get it. I mean, obviously the cover isn't brilliant. There is some signs of ring wear. But with the original inner still intact, you're not going to pass it up. And there is that custom label that I love so much. But yeah, Queen. One of, probably a band I love. I don't love them as much as I used to when I first started collecting vinyl records. But I do still like Queen quite a bit. So I'm going to pick up their albums when I see them in good condition. Next album up is a jazz album, surprisingly. Um, this is a direct metal cutting of this album. This is Courtney Pine, uh, Journey to the Urge Within. I should have just guessed that, because this is the only Courtney Pine album I've been hunting for for a while. 
really, really good stuff on this album. It's fantastic. I love this. Uh, I don't remember what year this is from, though. It's uh, from 86. I don't know if that's the original year, but there's the uh, island label. So, yeah, Courtney Pine, Journey to the Urge of Inn. A fantastic album, actually. I hardly ever see this album around, so I figured I'll pick it up. And it's actually, like I said, it's really good. One of my, probably one of my top jazz albums at the moment. I'm loving that. An al another album I've been hunting for for a while. I have had this on CD, but it's nice to have it on vinyl finally. Tracy Chapman's um, self-titled debut from 88. Nice, nice mint copy. Um, has the original inner with all the lyrics so fantastic stuff you all know this on Electra there's a few cracks and pops here and there but you know that's what you get from, so it's not perfect condition but it's enough to, at least to still enjoy the album so I had to get that because I have been hunting for that for quite some time uh, next is probably one of my top greatest hits albums it's an it's an embossed cover this is a band i love i don't see them too much here in the vc unfortunately but this is a band that i love and um, this is the bgs this is their greatest hits and if side one's not enough let's take a look here in fact let me read it to you you side one you've got jive talking you've got night fever tragedy you should be dancing that's a really weird four what the hell and staying alive all on side one it's incredible. This is a trifold um, with all three members of the Bee Gees there. So you got you got Barry, you got Robin, you got Morris, and each of the labels has a member of the band on it. I just conveniently pulled out the one with Barry on it because I don't want to pull out both records and show you all four labels. That will take forever. But yeah, a great album. I wasn't expecting you to get this. 79 is the year on this, so it's just bef it's just after Spirits Having Flown came out. But it is a great, great album. Very fantastic pickup there, in my opinion. Love that album. On to some brand new albums. I say brand new, what I mean is I've bought these brand new. Um, this is Greta Von Fleet. With their, um, e this is their EP, Black Smoke Rising. Now, if you're a Led Zeppelin fan... There for you. They say, if you close your eyes and listen to them, I swear to God, you'll s swear you're listening to a Led Zeppelin album. There's that custom label, um, Lava Republic. I'm not sure. I think it's Republic, but this is a 2017 release. So yeah, love that. Sounds great. Great pressing, and they sound like I just said. They sound a lot like Led Zeppelin. So if you're a Led Zeppelin fan get that I mean I I know they're highly influenced by uh, Led Zeppelin but you know and who isn't but they sound remarkably like Led Zeppelin when I first heard that and I didn't know it was Greta Von Fleet I swear to god I thought Led Zeppelin had reformed so yeah definitely grab that if you're a Led Zeppelin fan and give it a or at least give it a listen some reggae I haven't picked up any reggae in a while here's a nice double album this is Clinton Fearin this morning 2016 is the year on this on Boogie Brown Productions but this is a fantastic album my favorite songs on here are probably talk and turn up the music but what an album this is what a what a great pickup double album great stuff custom label I love this album one of my favorite reggae albums so I had to get that when I saw it cheap and this is a brand new release. Well, this was brand new at the beginning of March. Um, I would have showed it off, but I didn't get it until later on. This is American Utopia by David Byrne. Yeah, David Byrne's new album. I've kept it in the shrink because I'm going to try and keep his, some of my newer albums in the shrink if I can. Um, there is that custom label. Looks really good. It's a very, very good pressing. Heavily influenced by the work of Brian Eno as well, so you can just about imagine how good this sounds. And, I almost forgot about this as well. Comes with a poster. Look at that. 
Good stuff there. And all the lyrics are on the other side of this, but it is fantastic stuff here on this album. Definitely pick that up if you're a David Byrne fan. If you're a Talking Heads fan, but you don't like David Byrne's solo stuff, it's not an album for you, really. Um, obviously, but yeah, I do... I haven't really checked out a lot of David Byrne's solo stuff in the past, but this is a fantastic album. I really enjoyed this from start to finish, so definitely a good pickup if you're into that sort of stuff. That is going to do it. I apologize for rushing through those. Like I said, we had a lot to get through, but yeah, there's a lot of good albums here, some great stuff. I highly recommend checking out all of these if you can, if you don't know them, but yeah, some good stuff there to check out if you don't know them, and just one of my probably one of my favorite halls at the moment so and definitely one of my more diverse i'm definitely going to say that so that's going to do it for this video guys thank you once again for tuning back into the channel if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you immediately know when i upload next and with that alex checking out peace